I'm saying one of his first questions he'll ask is, hey, where do you need me? Okay, hey, you might have to be an assaulter. No, you don't get that, you know, dropping ammo and stuff like that. I'm a team player. Games like this, you know, you, you can't run solo. You know, this isn't this isn't modern warfare. There's no one man team. You got to go out there with your team. You got to be prepared, and that's how you're going to win. I think my man Josh probably had to explain that to you guys since you're civilians. That's that's exactly that's exactly what the guys in the military do. It's always for the bigger good and getting the final objective, and not worrying about racking up those points. Yeah. Hey, what do you want to? What, what do you guys think about if? We, we have these spawn killers, these spawn, uh, you know, the guys that like to sit back. Yeah, the spawn campers, want to sh as, you, as you spawn and you're waiting on your next vehicle and stuff, and you got some knucklehead up on the hillside shooting at you every time you try to spawn. What do you feel about that? Uh, well, I think they should get, like, maybe booted from the game. I mean, honestly, that, that's pretty weak. Nuke them. You know, I, I think it falls on the map designers to set it up so that, you know, you're not getting a, a spawn, spawn kill location. And I don't, I don't sit at my spawn. I spawn, I'm doing something. There isn't a tank, I'm picking up a gun, I'm moving. Keep those feet moving. So if you guys get killed, no matter where you're at in the map, your, your next objective is to get back to your buddies, give your buddies a hand. Yeah. All right, guys. Hey, Josh, John, and Ian, from, from Mount Sierra up in uh, Monroeville, California, I want to take this back upstairs, give it to my buddy Mark. All right, I am back, and I am here with Matt Pruitt, community manager for Battlefield. And he's here to talk about what the community is and how his role interacts with uh, with you guys to to bring you Battlefield news. So, Matt, tell us all about it. Yeah, I, you know, one of the great things about DICE is that we're so community oriented and we have a lot of channels into which to communicate with our fans that a lot of companies usually, you know, might or may not do. So, you know, of course, we have the Battlefield blog, we have the Battlefield Twitter, which you mentioned earlier, the Battlefield Facebook page. Uh, we're doing this Ustream live, so it's very really important to us at DICE and at EA that we really communicate with our fans. That's our number one most important thing to us is, you know, listen what they're telling us and can we act upon it? We can't act upon everything, but we take it in, we internalize it, we talk with the team. We, you know, a lot of the ideas that the guys give us make their way into the game, which is really cool. And how much of the interaction is, is players actually talking with you out there? I mean, is are you really removed from it or are you in, directly involved? You know, we're all gamers, so we're all playing the game. It's like we're not just sitting in some dark hole, you know. And you know, a lot of my job is doing Excel spreadsheets and PowerPoints, but a good part of our day, we make sure that we take a chunk out of time and you know, sit down, play the games that our consumers are playing. Otherwise, really, really doing. You know, you have to understand the game that your consumers are playing, that your team is building, to you know, understand where they're coming from. And you know, you know, you know, you've known me a long time. I'm a huge PC guy. Um, I've been involved in that community for a long time, so I have some you know, preconceived notions as well from just coming up in that community as to what, you know, players expect from a, you know, a triple A AAA game. So with the, obviously we heard about Battlelog, we heard about all this, all the different stuff that's going on to make uh, all of the social interaction and the community even tighter. So how is this going to change your role? How is it going to be, I mean, is this really going to going to change the way you deal with the community and, and give you more to work with with the community? And are, are our fans going to actually be able to get in there and really tell you what what you know you want to do to work with and make changes and how involved are you going to be even after this game launches right well i think one of the you know the best things that we announced was the beta so that goes to show you right there we absolutely care about what you say what you think about our game early on so that we can act upon those suggestions um, and make changes to the game you know accordingly if we feel them necessary so you know absolutely there's so many channels for people to get involved with us that it's it's crazy and it's you know it's one of those things we want to make sure that they're being heard and we can do it we'll do everything we can to make sure that we hear that voice well I guess I'm asking everybody what's your favorite piece so far I guess going back in time let's go ahead and say how, how much do you go back in with the battlefield with the battlefield history where, where did you start with battlefield all the way back in uh, you know basically the very first game I was part of the beta the beta so battlefield 1942 played the beta I was there uh, so ever since then, I've been playing, and you know, I think one of my, it's been great to watch the evolution of this title, uh, taking a step back and being a fan, and just seeing where the graphics were then and where they are now. Uh, I think one of the greatest things is, is is the Frostbite 2 engine. I mean, you've seen it in action. The destruction level is way up from the Frostbite engine, and it's just it really immerses you in the game. And I think that's taking that next step from being a game to being an experience. So. If, let's go ahead and say, for the military guys out there, which we're representing, uh, what do you think 
battlefield really represents and really brings to light about the military? I mean, do you, do you feel like there's something there that, that the military will really kind of key in on and say that you're, you're, you're hitting all the marks? Well, I think one of the things that the military will really like, and I know that you enjoy, is being in a squad and working as a team. And I think that's one of the great things that Battlefield 3 is going to bring. You know, certainly you've experienced it in Battlefield 2. You have a chopper pilot, you have a tank guy, you have, you know, you have, if you're infantry, you have snipers, and all of that combined that makes it surreal. You know, you're really in a squad. You can lean on your buddy that is really good at one thing and lean on your other buddy that's in the air giving you air support. So it's, it's, it's one of those things where it's really fun to play with friends. That's outstanding. That's that's one of the things that we really are hearing more about is is being able to do that. From Battlefield Bad Company, you had uh, four people in the squads, and I don't know, we haven't really heard a lot about the squads and stuff, but we're hoping to see more about that, find out how those squads are going to be integrated. But it seems like, from what we're hearing, that the squad play and team, you know, things to, to go and, and support the teamwork are going to be key in this game. So it looks like from the community end, you guys are wired in completely. and. In the game, you guys are really trying to work with the, the cohesiveness of the, of the battle. So uh, anything else you really want to talk to about, the, about this thing? What is it that, uh, what's exciting you about Battlefield 3? I mean, what is it, what's your favorite thing? Is it destruction? Is it gameplay? Is it vehicles? What, what is it that, uh, that, that you as a player, never mind the community manager, but you as a player, what's, what do you like about this? You know, really, it's the Frostbite U engine has to be really excited. You just heard Carl Magnus talk about you know, dis full destruction of buildings and the falling debris can kill players. That brings a whole new, you know, angle to how you play a game and how I might position myself if I'm in a tank or how I might position myself if I'm in a jet or a helicopter. So I, I think that perspective right there has me really excited as to about what I want to see what the community does as far as strategies go and, and what people do to take out certain enemies or, you know, if there's a tank under a building, do they engage the tank or do they engage the building? So I think it's that that's going to be a very interesting play, and to see how that kind of stuff pans out. But I, I you know, really the game, you know, and this sounds contrived because yes, I work with EA and Dice, but I really am excited as a gamer taking a step back again. Um, you, and you have to do that, you know, take a step back, become a fan again, and that's this, you know, Battlefield Three is going to be is going to be huge, and I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Outstanding. Well, we're going to go ahead and back to the interviews and talk to the fans. I mean, this is your community, so we're going to go ahead and talk to them. So, Al, let's go back and talk to Al. Here we go. Hey, guys, we're back down here on the line in the Battlefield 3 line with some more fans of the Battlefield. I want to ask these guys, <coughs> Glenn, what do you expect to see in this inside here on the Battlefield? Uh, a lot of action and shooting and stuff. I've never played it, so I'm looking forward to playing this one. So we have a noob for Battlefield. You never played the original Battlefield, Battlefield 2. Oh, where's my veteran of Battlefield 2? How's it going, man? And who we got here? We have uh, we got Brandon Wallace, the Xbox Live Rewards. Yeah, <laughs> Give a shout out for him. <laughs> what do you expect to see on? Well, what? Let me ask you first. How long did you play Battlefield 2? Uh, a lot of hours, man. A lot of hours. PC and Xbox. PC and Xbox. Out of the two, which is your favorite platform? PC by far. Hey, no, I'm a PC fan. I've been you're the first one on the whole line today besides myself to play on PC. Got to have that tactile on the. I'm all thumbs. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. This game's built for PC, man. I don't even know why you would even think about getting it on the console. Okay, my man Dave. What are you looking for in this game? Besides the scale, besides everything, I'm really looking for what they show in destruction. In terms of destruction from Battlefield Bad Company and Bad Company 2 to this one, I want to see just off the chart destruction. So what is your favorite, uh, what is your favorite class? My favorite class? Uh, I actually played a lot of medic hours on uh, Battlefield 2. Me too, brother, me too. Now, do you guys all play together? No, no, no. no. Separate. Separate, separate. Let, let me ask you this, Dave. When, when you play online with some of your buddies or some clan members or something like that, do you always choose medic? Uh, not always, but most of the times I am because I can get in there, get quick, uh, get them up, back up real quick, and run back out. I'm at that. So if one of your one of your buddies is always a medic, already a medic, or you got three or four medics, do you just go ahead and assume another class because it's needed elsewhere, or what do you do? I, I do go assume, go ahead and assume another class. Most likely, it's like the engineer give out ammo and stuff like that, doing uh, just whatever I can to help out the squad. Well, thanks. All right, my man Sam from the Boy Scouts of America. Your favorite class and why? Uh, assault. 
um, just because it's straight up in your face, action right there. Um, I've been playing since 1942. I mean, since PC, and that's I'm, I'm a PC man, so that's where I'm at. I'm a salt. Good, good. Uh, so you guys, did you watch the trailer that came out yesterday? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Did you watch one of the tanks? What'd you think of it? Uh, the t man, it, it looks better than real life. I couldn't even. I, I don't even know. I was speechless. It was it was amazing. That. I I I don't know, man. You got me at a loss for words on that. But I mean, it's gonna be a great game. Um, by far the best game here at E3. Ah, uh, that's what we're all saying. This is. All right. Hey, we're, what we're going to do now is we're going to uh, toss this back to the, we're going to watch a video on the multiplayer footage. So I hope you guys enjoy what you're going to see. Hey, it's Alan. We're back down here online at Battlefield.